Our last speaker of this afternoon's session is Fang Ji. He works with Fang Yu Peng in the nuclear medicine section. And the title of his talk is Targeting Copper Metabolism for Copper Depletion Cancer Therapy, Colon Inhibition of Prostate Cancer Cell Growth in Vivo with Tetrathiomolybdate by Bioluminescence Imaging. Okay, thank you for introductions. And I'm Fang from Dr. Pong's lab. Today I'm going to talk about the um, target copper metabolism for the copper definition cancer therapies. So uh, I will introduce, uh, introduce my study from the, uh, those parts. We know copper is a micronutrient essential for almost all the organ uh, organisms and the uh, tissues. Metabolism change is associated with uh, um, many gland uh, transformations such as uh, glucose hypermetabolism and, the, and some, uh, some snacks, uh, biomotor metabolisms. Copper is required for cell proliferations and tumor genesis. So copper, is very, uh, copper metabolism is very important for the cancers, uh, such as uh, cancer images. Our nerve is the first nerve to uh, use uh, copper seed for chloride to image tumors. We found the copper seed for mainly accumulated in the neural and the intestine. And we also found copper highly accumulated in such as uh, prostate cancers and uh, hepatoma uh, telegraphers. After us, many other investigators found the co uh, copper seed for uh, accumulated like uh, such as uh, breast cancer, uh, brain tumors, and some other cancers. Here is the result from our lab. Uh, is some PET imaging uh, with uh, copper seed for in prostate cancer and hepatoma. And after that, many studies were performed in humans. They found a rapid copper seed for uptake in the liver, kidneys, and no adverse uh, uh, effects in the patients. And uh, some researchers also found copper seed for highly accumulated like in the breast cancers, indicating uh, their protection uh, in primary stage for the breast cancers. Also, copper seed for found highly accumulated in the, hum uh, in the human uh, brain tumors. There is some example for the imaging, like the, in the left is the uh, breast, uh, breast cancers and the brain tumors in the right. And the copper metabolism is also very important uh, target for the cancer therapies. We can see uh, the copper kinase can block the copper absorption, which is a good anti-copper therapies. And uh, knockdown or inhibition of HCTR1, ATX1, and some other copper chaperones is a good target or has the potential as a good target for the cancer therapies. Here is some example from AMNAB. We found the uh, separation of tumor growth by the knockdown of HCT1 in the product cancers. We can see the um, tumor size in the control is uh, significantly larger than the tumor size from the knockdown of the uh, HCT1 tumors. The similar result was found, was found in the uh, non cancer cells. Uh, with knockdown of ATX1, the cell viability, the cell viability is, is higher than the cells with uh, knockdown uh, of ATX1. So based on those introductions, we design our uh, experiment uh, from this process. We start the treatment after three days of uh, nociferous tumor cells implantations. And after the cell implantations, we perform the uh, optical imaging uh, with uh, IVIS spectrum in vivo image system at our campus. Then after the data collections and data process, we get our result. We use the uh, uh, tetracycline manipulated TM in this uh, experiment because this is one of the COP candidates in human study. Here's the result. First of all, we study in the COP seed 4 and the FDG <coughs> uptake uh, in different cell types. We found a totally different uptake patent in these two tracers. Like we found the um, prostate cancer, they have really high uh, uh, copsid 4 uptake, but a relatively low FDG uptake. That means copsid 4 may be a good tracer in prostate uh, cancer imaging. So we try to establish a mouse model of micro metastasis by, uh, for the copper definition cancer therapies use BRI imaging. In the top is the three in independent mice, and in the bo uh, bottom is the uh, average signals for these mice. We use 10,000 cells, they grow uh, stable. That means 10,000 cells 
could be a, a good model, f uh, model for our study. After that, we used TM to treat these mice models. We found TM can inhibit uh, 10,000 cells uh, uh, significantly, but uh, 50,000, they have some inhibitions, but the result is not stable. So, uh, and we continue the research. We study the effect of COPC4 on the growth of uh, breast cancers. We found uh, after injection of 200 mic uh, microcurie and uh, one mini curie uh, COPC4, the tumor cells is not inhibit, but they grow faster than the control cells. So that means COPC4 is not a good tracer, uh, is not a good uh, uh, isotope for the can uh, cancer therapies. Maybe COPC7 is a good alternative. In order to further study the BMI in cancer therapy uh, studies, we use uh, CUHQTS is a, a, com a complex uh, synthesizing AMNAP. Here's the structure and the proliferation inhibition ability <coughs> of these uh, com uh, compounds. <coughs> we found in the, uh, in the con uh, control groups, um, the signal of the tumors increased after two weeks, but in the uh, mice with treatment, the, um, the signals decreased. Here is the growth, uh, uh, the growth curves in the control uh, mice, the signals increased, but, uh, but in the uh, mice with treatment, the signal decreased. And, and after two weeks, the uh, difference is significant. And this result also confirmed by the tumor size uh, uh, changed after two weeks of treatment. That, uh, that, uh, that are tumors from the other group of mice. And the, after two weeks of treatment, the tumor size uh, uh, decreases significantly. So let me make a short conclusion. We can find the tumor can be recognized by a pad use a COPC4, and the BMI may be a good method for the um, COP definition therapies, and the COP6 for chloride per CT may be uh, useful for the selection of human uh, with COP definition kind of therapies. And uh, no significant uh, uh, serotopic effect of COP6 4 was found, but uh, COP6 4 7 may be a good uh, alternative, and the target theory of uh, CUHQTS may be a, promis uh, a promising approach for the further studies. And we want to thank financial support from NIH and NCI. Also, thank Dr. Uh, Mason and his uh, and his uh, staff for the help in BMI image. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any questions? So, so I have a, a, a question. So, when you show the BLI images. So you transfect in the you luciferase into the cancer cells, right? Yeah. Does that do change anything with the copper metabolism, or have you tested that to see if that doesn't perturb anything? No, we just test the, the signals to see if the uh, we, we we assume the signals reflect the tumor cells. It have some ring shape. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So. Um,